Green Bay Southwest High School is supporting one of its students who is a big football fan. CW14 star Maria Parmigiani joins us live from the school with Ben Storm. Good Hi, morning, Maria. Maria. Good morning. They're definitely full of Trojan spirit here this morning. And earlier this week, I got to talk to another young gentleman who's full of Trojan spirit. Ben Reinebo is a senior here at Southwest High School, and he was just beginning his year in seventh grade when he was injured in a car accident. That accident left Ben paralyzed with a traumatic brain injury. Since then, the lives of Ben and his family have been greatly adjusted. Take a look. There's a saying, it takes a village to raise a child. When talking with the Reinebo family, it gave that phrase a whole new meaning. Meet Ben. Ben is a 17-year-old, soon to be 18-year-old senior at Southwest High School. Ben's parents, Kim and Jim Reinebo, say Ben is as lovable as any 17-year-old boy. He uh, loves to be around people. He loves to cook. He loves to hang out with his family. Am I getting everything, buddy? He loves sports, especially oh, yeah. football. I saw football his is his thing. <laughs> football was his thing, and it still is. He loved, loved going up north to the cottage, mm -hmm. going to the lake, swimming, skiing, four-wheeling, just about anything, hunting. Five years ago, Jim, Ben, and Ben's older brother were driving home from their cottage when their truck rolled over several times on Highway 141. And that's when Ben was paralyzed and suffered significant brain injuries. Well, this we, we redesigned, so this used to be, a, you know, there was a hallway through here, and then there were two, two smaller bedrooms, kind of a typical three-bedroom ranch. We've done you know, a tremendous amount of remodeling to try to make the, the home a little more accessible for him. Um, we built a therapy room for him. You know, he loved the water, so we put a hot tub in and a lift system so we can get him in the water. He loves that. Um, you know, we remodeled the garage, made the garage bigger and more accessible for his, for his van to get in and out, um, you know, ramp systems, things like that. The Rhinobos know that some days will be harder than others and thank the community that has supported them along the way. It was just overwhelming. You know, our, we were just so focused on getting Ben better and all of a sudden we're getting letters and emails from people and it kind of started, I think, with our nephews. They, they developed a Caring Bridge website for Ben so that became my journal, and I would journal how he was doing, and all of a sudden we were getting all this feedback from people. From walks to benefits and fundraisers, the community rallied around Ben and his family. The school system, amazing, just amazing. They had fundraisers, they had their sporting events, they had um, raffles, they had just... They had the walks for a couple different walks. They raised money for uh, the Brain Injury Association of Wisconsin. Um, as well as some for Ben and his, and his therapies that he's gone through. Through the years, there's been a lot of change in the Rhinebo home, but one thing will always remain the same, their love for each other. We don't know how far he can go, but, you know, we're going to help him get as far as he can possibly get. Ben always keeps his family and friends very close with his quilt. It was made the year his accident happened, and it hasn't left his side since. Each square was made by someone very special in Ben's life. This is the blanket he's wrapped in every night, so he knows just how loved he is. You guys, that was such an inspirational story. Tossing it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, thank you for sharing it, Maria. We loved it. Yeah, well done.